All right, let's get this show on the rails. It's always been on the rails. It's good. Trains are fascinating, aren't they? And the construction of railroads in the early 1800s truly shaped the way Florida looks today. And when I say that, I mean, I'm talking the big towns and, and cities. They were founded simply because railroads went through them. So Lewis and Clark visiting the original, the one Henry Flagler himself built this morning. As always, Howie Bun, busy today. You drive Howie One? US One, Phillips they call it. Phillips in, in Jacksonville. Here in Duval, <laughs> uh, where the trains run parallel to Howie One. They do run parallel to US One, don't they? They do. They All do. the time. And there's an adventure right off Highway One. I mean, it's so unassuming you would, I didn't know it was back here. But the sign says it's there. It says Florida East Coast. And we take, all of our people take great pride in it. We're visiting the Florida East Coast Railway Yard. It's on the south side, a two and a half mile stretch right off Phillips Highway that you may not ever know existed, if not for a small sign and Google yard. Maps. So we, we get ready for all, we take a lot of our intermodal at the north end, which is what we, off of Bowden and University, we load them on our rail cars. Okay. And we assemble between six and eight trains a day go southbound, six or eight trains go a day go northbound. That's President and CEO Nate Asplund. In this yard, they build trains that go back and forth to Miami. Town. Wow, so yeah. when I see an FEC train going by, yeah. it's either going all the way to Miami or coming all the way back from Correct. Miami. It's a gorgeous logistical ballet with trucking dancers bringing in and hauling off containers from this yard with everything inside that we ever uh, use. Those have to be reefer units. A lot of uh, cargoes of pro proteins, vegetables, perishables. Reefer as in refrigerator. Yeah. Not, Not marijuana. <laughs> Temperature control. <laughs> it's a nice, it's right, it's an intricate, it's an intricate dance, it really is. Freight trains are running in and out of here. In the meantime, you have other passenger trains that run here. From a small office here, every train on their tracks up and down the East Coast is controlled. Just a mouse. So just think of that. Goodness. It's a mouse click here in Jacksonville, moves the switch in Miami. Hey, all aboard. Or all aboard. It's all aboard. Dang it. But as Nate mentioned at the beginning, this really is quintessential Florida. Started by Mr. Henry Flagler himself when he was building tracks that led to all his Florida hotels back in 1885. Wow, And that's the neat thing about FEC. Is they hold on to pieces of the history railway. with a couple of passenger cars they use on special occasions. You know, your freight's gonna be on that train, so you're gonna be on that train. And they can feel it. We going up here? Yep. Woo! 4,400 horsepower oh, locomotives it. powered by 10,000 gallon tanks full of liquefied natural gas. It's very efficient. Uh, it produces about a third less CO2. Most important question for me, very critical to any train, where is the horn and can I honk it? I press my horn. You've been wanting to do that for a while. A Florida legacy that keeps the state's arteries going with its heartbeat right here. It's more than a paycheck. It's actually more than moving the trains. It's what you do every day for, for our state. 